Just prior to his promotion to Double A Erie, Tigers catching prospect Dylan Dingler was asked about something that seems to stand out no matter who's watching him, his swagger. My parents told me from a young age, like if somebody, if somebody thinks you're good, you don't have to tell them like yourself that you're good. They'll, they'll know it for themselves. And that always like stuck with me because I've always, I've always had people I played against or friends that were kind of, you know, a little cocky and it never really rubbed me the right way. So just gotta have, gotta have that confidence in yourself and feel like you belong and feel like you've been here and you know that you can achieve more. So that's kind of helped me along the way. You know, it's kind of kept me process driven and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, looking forward to, you know, keeping on going and making that making that jump. The 22-year-old has certainly done that since making the trip to Pennsylvania. In his first 12 games with the Seawolves, Dingler was slashing a line of 289, 346, 511 for an OPS of 857. And here's the 2-1 in the air to right center. Back goes Quan, warning track, and that ball is off the top of the wall and gone. That's a home run. Hit on top and bounced over. Dingler continues two triples, a homer and double in this series, and here he has a two to nothing lead. I'm just trying not to think too much. I'm trying to play every day without thinking, honestly, in general. I did some things with my swing that helped me recognize pitches a little bit easier and helped me, um, helped me stay ready for certain pitches, and uh, it's, a, it's a huge help. It makes it sound so simple, but it's not always easy to block everything out and focus in on the task at hand. Oh, there's things you need to care about. We'll say offensively, for example, you need to have an approach every single time. And if you don't have an approach, you know, it shows. But the thing is, you can't think about anything else. You can't think about what you may get or what you probably aren't going to get because it just messes you up. But if you stick to your approach and what you're trying to do that, you know, that has got us to this level, it kind of clears up things. You know, he's one of those guys that uh, he knows, you know, how to separate offense from defense. And, uh, you know, he's, he's such a young player that it's very difficult sometimes for players to understand that. But, uh, you know, he's just one of those guys that he realized that, you know, his game calling has been outstanding. You know, he's being able to make adjustments. You know, he's being able to do whatever, it, you know, he takes during the game. And that is exactly what you want. Offensively, I always told him, you will never hear nothing from me about, about your offense part of the game. And, uh, you know, hopefully he can go out there and continue to do that, you know, every single day and, and be part of that, you know, of a bright future, you know, at the highest level. Until that day, the former Ohio State Buckeye will continue to do things his way with a mindset that stays focused on the big picture. You can't focus too much on, you know, your season stats or whatever stats. You gotta pretty much do it week to week and then flush it after that and like start off brand new. And the same thing goes, like you can't, you can't dwell too much on the highs and the lows or whether or not you should be promoted or whether the chance of you being demoted or stuff like that. You just gotta focus on, you know, the task at hand every day and try to, Try to be the best player that you can be for that day or that week and just go from there. Back picked a third and got him! I love how calm and collective like Ding is. Ding can go 0 for 4 or 4 for 4 and he will not show any different emotion. He's really good with handling the pitch pitchers. He's good with handling failure and, and I think that's that's awesome. I think Dingler had a four strikeout game. It, He's the same guy after he hit two home runs. His mentality is unbelievable, especially coming right out of college. Let your actions speak loudly for themselves. Uh, and I, I think he does a really good job of that, and that's something I've, I've learned. 